Martin, good morning. We are um, the end of Hilchas Tumas Saras. Is a very, very uh, famous halacha of the Rambam. I'm sure a lot has been said about it. And there is a sicha, which parallels a lot of what we're going to say. But I learned this sugya, and afterwards I saw the sicha, and a lot of. Um, area of common ground there and I'm going to go through both and and uh, the, the slight differences that there are and but nevertheless uh, I think it's worth it now just to note the cha- the common understanding of this Ramam is that Saras is a is 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 not a normal thing, and that's what he says. Taras is a name given to many things, and he goes through what it's by a human being, um, and then also relevant to houses and clothing. So he says that, but but it's clear. I, I just want to note. In the words of the Ramah, the changes that happen in clothing and housing that the Torah calls Saras, the Shutras Hashem, using the same name, that is not norm. And then he says that this is a process. Chazabai, Yitzharu, they become pure. If not, they burn the clothing. And then, Nishtana Oyrevi, Yitzharevi, Yimuvda, 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 So I, I, it's not clear to me, at least, and, and that, that, that the Saras of the human being is not something that could occur naturally, too. The 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 Raman is just saying that in this process it's not natural, but the unnatural part is definitely begun them and bought them. That that's just reading the words of the Raman. I don't. And then the Raman says that when it goes in this matter, it's it's this is this is a clear sign that it has to do with actually it's asik. If he moved the move for some of the he should separate from everybody. Actually, it's asking besicha is harish shoyim. He will not be involved in the discussion of Rishayim Shahu a late somnus Lashon Hara. Now the question is obvious: Where did Lashon Hara come in? At? We're talking about Lashon Hara. That's the whole issue there. All right. Well, we'll get to this, and then he goes on, and this is what the Torah warned us: Be careful with negative traps. Zochar is a shas Hashem only careful of Miriam and Watch what God does to Miriam. It's interesting that he stops in the middle of the Pasuk. I don't say when, but it says from Mitzrayim. So he translates. What is he telling us? Now, his mind and listen closely to what he says. Contemplate. My era of Miriam. What happened to Miriam? Anavia. Fedibra Bachel. She spoke about her brother. Now, remember. She was the older sister. We get the same again. She grew. She raised him. Third, the sickna ba'atzma lahatzilam and ayam, and she sacrificed herself. She put herself in danger to save him. The he loy dibra mignusa. She didn't say anything bad about it. What happened? Elato aso. She made a mistake. She considered him equal to all of him. And therefore, she doesn't understand why he has to separate from his wife and so And so there are already, um, there, there are already four, different, four, four, four conditions that she's meeting that don't fit regular Lush and Hark. <laughs> he couldn't get less. As it says, 
right afterwards. Moshe was a humble person. Why is he telling us Moshe was humility? Because he couldn't kill us. And yet, miad men should be tzaras. And yet she got tzaras. Kavachem leyadam rashaim atipshim. The foolish, evil people shall marvel and dabe gedeles from the place. And they speak these great, strong and powerful words. What does that mean? Let them gedeles from the place. And therefore, levicha achroi mi yishayz lechavon nechaisa. The strachik mishos to stay away from sitting with these people. Don't get caught up in their foolishness, and and then he goes into a whole uh, a litany of process that that the, these late some harishayim again late some harishayim. First, they start off with foolish, senseless words. Then they come to speak bad about Sadiqim. Not necessarily bad, in, in a negative way. Then they think about the Viv, and then they deny God. <laughs> Came from Bacon. What is this all about? And then he ends up on a positive note, as he always does, and so forth. So, again, I'm going to stress the Ha'aris, and, and, and it's incredible. Uh, a lot of them are fitting to what the name is. My area. I'm just going to go through them. So, okay, he's talking about Lashon Hara. Where does Lashon come in? Which is a, a, an obvious question. He talks about Al Indian Zeh Mazer Betayer. Which Indian? Lashon is Lashon Hara. <laughs> doesn't 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 say. My country it would sound like there is no Lashon Hara. Yeah, we'll see that. Now, where does the Ram get this whole business with Miriam, the way he describes her? Miriam, it says, is a, is a, is a, it comes from Medrash. Sifri Zuta, Pasha Baleischa says, and the Novus Rab Nosson, Eric Amalev. He says, so let's talk about Sifri Zuta. My Melu, these referring to Miriam and her brother Aaron. She never became a cotton man. They spoke about their younger brother. Well, I never began to say Elisha Hishu Isil Sharn VM. Kah, man, true. Somebody thinks bad about a person for sure. And she sinned with her mouth and all her limbs suffered. What, 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 what's that the point? The point is Saras. The point is not the uh, mouth, limbs. And then Abu Zab Nosen says, Here's more concise. And again, what's the Kabbalah Chaim and Amir and Yishma? How is the Kabbalah Chaim and Amir and Yishma? Lishma Chaim and Amir and Yishma? Lishma Chaim and Amir and Yishma? She only talked about his praise and his honor. I'm a big guy then, so I'm a big guy. 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 She hit around over there. Again, the folk is very clear on the bad versus good speaker. The Rambam makes his Kabbalah based on the Sifri Zuta and this uh, but he goes into such an elongated process to describe how Miriam was such a great person. Why? Why is he so 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 descriptive? And when he fin ends up, he doesn't, they, 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 they all say clearly that somebody speaks Russian Ira. The Ramah goes in, and the Ramah's not making a daily spin employees. What's this good daily spin employees? The, the third, the next question is it doesn't fit. You know, usually a Kal and a Chaimer have a relationship. So, in the Rambam's words, it, the relationship was very hard to understand. The Kal is that Miriam was this great lady. And all she did was compare him to the Vian. The Chaimer is the Shayim that speaks. What does that do with the Lakal? 
if you would have used the Medabic Nusa versus Shmach, I understand. What does Gedalus and Replies have to do with the cow? And then he goes into what should you do? Avoid being with the Shayim. And he should say, <laughs> then don't talk with Shnar. I mean, there are songs for kids. Don't talk with Shnar. We shouldn't say anything. Don't talk with Shnar. Now, let's remember that Lashnara does appears in the Rambam and Hilchis Deis, where he talks at length of the concept Amaragel Eschaverei Amaragel Eschaverei Eva Melissa say and he says even though Shane Lake and Aldava say Oven Godel who we're going to lie the Foshes Rabbis Mishol and that's why he says well he's having Aldam Reyecha look what they got Damey happened to and then he goes on to explain what it is Loshnara and Something new say, and uh, when you talk about this and this, what the person did, Yachris Hashem Kasev Zechalogus. And then he goes on Aloha Gimel. He talks about how terrible this Aver is. And then he goes and talks about Aloha Dalit. Even if you talk with their Shrek with their Chalas Reish, Kei Naim Hashem Elavus in a, you're not doing it out of a hate. Who's a Shlema Omar? He gives a prosecutor from Shlema. I'll let Masachi Kandi. You're going to say, I won't make a joke. It doesn't matter. Then, I'm on right. All these Badalash and Hara, you're not allowed to live near them. And certainly not allowed to sit with them or listen to them. And then he writes about the Maraglim, how that, that that's what sealed the deal with the, with the Eden uh, in the Midbar. So now the question is very obvious. First of all, that's where Lush and Harvest should be said. Not a word about Miriam there. Um, if you're not allowed to live there, what does it mean? Royal me Sharait Sulchama Khais of here in Hilkis to Masarat to be careful not to sit with them without you're not allowed to live there, you're not allowed to be there. Roy? It's awesome. He goes through the process, he said, of how far, five steps what, what, of, of what the Rishon do by, by us. So the, the question is, what's Uncle Deus about? What's, what, what are we about? <laughs> Just to note, there is a massive Achleik in Rishonim. This Rambam, who uses an Ilkas Sumas Miriam, As the catalyst for Lashon Hara, this same Rambam does not mention in the, uh, um, the, the remembering of Miriam as a mitzvah. And the Ramban argues and brings many rise. He says, Mikanira, this is Ramban in Chumish, it's also Ramban in Seva Mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah. It's not only an Eitzah. And he says, of course it says clearly in the Torah. And this is Mitzvah Miklal Tayag Mitzvah. And the Bahag and the Ramam forgot him. And so in Sefer Charedim, the Smak, Sefer Mitzvah Cotton, brings it as a Mitzvah where we do it. And that's the Magen Avram. Based on the Magen Avram, based on Arizal. They all hold that it's a Mitzvah. Just to note, that there are various discussions about what the mitzvah is. Is the mitzvah to think about in your heart or to talk about it? The Ramban says it's a mitzvah of Pera. And they are the 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 others others uh 
I speak about that it's not a mitzvah pad the chinuch. Karen Ayer proves it. Shagasaria, they go in detail uh, whether there are these mitzvahs are mitzvahs of or not. And that uh, they hold that they bring proofs that it's not. Or the next rally is it a mitzvah every day or once a year? The Haredim says, on Kol Yoyd, Magan Avram says, that's the question. Why did they make Pasha Molek once a year? And why didn't they make why don't we have to read it in Shul about my, my Samaria? He says, because it's it's about the Ganus and Shul Yisrael. Talk about the negativity about you. <clears throat> um so the Masa Shekel says that. Really, once a year is enough. There are others who seem to indicate that that. So, it, it isn't about that, but definitely a mitzvah. Grambach, no mitzvah. But the truth of the matter is, and we're asking also why the Ram doesn't mention Nilchus Deis. Talk so much about the Lashonara and not a word about Miriam. But the really question is not on the Ram. The question starts on the Gemara. There's a sugya in the Sechtis Erechin Dav Tesvav. A whole Gemara, a few black Gemara, or a block and a half, or two black Gemara, of the whole discussion about Loshan Hara. That's where the source of the, the main Gemara of Loshan Hara. Not a word in that whole Gemara about Miriam, <clears throat> about Saras. Why? Why not? <laughs> this is the source. So, I would suggest that the Ramam learned from here that Lashon Hara has nothing to do with, with that it's not a mitzvah and it's not the source of, 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 of Lashon Hara. <clears throat> now, this is an extreme view. Rabbi has a less, a much <laughs> less extreme view. I wanted to suggest that Miriam did not speak any Lashon Hara. And don't turn off yet for this, but I think if there's there's ample reason to think that that's the way that I'm unlearned. That <coughs> she doesn't speak Lashon Hara. She spoke idle talk, something that shouldn't have been said. And by the way, and that's where Lashonis comes in here. Lashonis so doesn't mean just. It means talk that doesn't have meaning. And because she made a mistake of comparing him to all other Nevi'im, that's a Litzonis concept. Meaning it's a, a non it's, it's, it's a nonsensical statement. So perhaps that's why he goes to such lengths of describing her relationship with him. And how he couldn't care less. <clears throat> he's trying, he's not just doing that for the Kabbalah because that wasn't necessary for the Kabbalah Khaimer. He could do what, the, what it says in the in, in the in the in the in the Medrash for the Kabbalah Khaimer itself. He's doing that to prove that what she did was not real Lushan Hara. <clears throat> she didn't, she she was not over of her That's why I don't count in the midst of Lush Hara. Don't do Lush Hara. She can't, she's only a reason to. Realize what could come to Lashon Hara. She did something that was Kavanasar to you. She did something that was totally, totally and in, 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 with, with the best intent. But she said something that was not true. She compared him to all of them. And that's where, and again, it wasn't a lie, it was a miscalculation. She had a miss. Or a, 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 a misevaluation, which he shouldn't have been evaluating. And then, like, Lusanne is not, not, not a real version of what's going on. And therefore, it's David to Lusanne and Lushan Hara. <clears throat> and this is what the Rishayim do. The Rishayim and Hilchis to Maseras don't are not Misapre Lushan Hara necessarily, because they're also to live with. These are people who are Lutzanim and who in their process that Ramam describes that they bring to the worst, 
the kvir That's what he wants to show how that type of life brings the lashnar and kvir abeker. And they don't mean well, whereas he, she did, and that, that was the kavachayim. They're meaning well, and they're not meaning well of being lutzanim. And what not meaning well of being lutzanim does. <clears throat> Because that's what you do as he goes through such a beautiful description. What are they doing? They are looking at people and they're evaluating them. And that's leading to them to evaluate Sadiqim. You know, he did this and like they do this. And then you evaluate the Vir. And then you deny what they say because that leads and all that is, goes to that leads to real Russian heart. And that's not enough. Here we're not so much on Lashonara. This brings to Ladaba Belakim Vakay for me. So the, the, the general Lashonara has its Isser and its source. Its Isser is speaking bad about people. The source is Litsunis. That you, you understand what's going on in the world. And that leads to laughing at people. And what we learn from Miriam is that it is not only not us to talk about people, but also to evaluate and to say something that and to evaluate falsely. Even if you mean well. And that leads to the to the sucks. Okay. Now, the Rebbe, based on a lot of these, the Yukim, uh, goes on to take it a step further and then hold in a, a, a further and less well <laughs> and less radical for sure and therefore more probably more true and definitely I mean, definitely more true and definitely true as a truth clarity with it and that is based on the al Rebbe in the Kutatera that all Indian Hanegoyim have to do with Odom ki Yebarbasari. That's what that's the it's talking about a high level person. Odom is the highest level that you can call a person. There's Emma Ish, Ish, Yever. The fact that they use the word um Odom for Mitsaira. Why? He's the highest level. And only him. So, the al explains that the Indian Goyim Barah Bosa shows that the Ra is not really the Pneumius of the person. It's the residue of the Ra. It's only the in, in in the Bosa. The Ra Bosa. So therefore, in the, after the churm, no more, no more, um, no more, no, 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 no more tzaras because it's not anymore. After, we we don't have that anymore. We don't have uh, people that are only chitzayniyizik balayavera. And even the 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 yudaloshin, even at tzadik and at tayv, a dayim berak tzadik nimis. It's still a pnimis, some kind of pnimis. So he says. Also, there are two things in Lashonara. There's Lashonara of Ilkhis Deis that comes from Midas Roy, so Kin and Sinna. And the main concern is there not only what you're saying, it's what's doing to you, bringing out the bad of the person, and it damages those who it's it, it, it's talking about. Lashonara of Ilkhis Tumasaras. That brings it to us. It, it's something that itself is not the terrible thing. It's what it brings to. Same idea in that rap. And that's the way he explains the Ramam's line in the discussion of Sikh Sushan and Litsanis and so forth. And that's what we bring from Miriam. Miriam did it without any Midas rice. And there was no damage. And she meant well. And yet she was uh, she she was punished. 
because any touch of lashon hara can lead to the to, to the worst. So therefore, the goyim hashayich to madrega odom. And therefore, to the best of the people. Why? Because he has deep down, everybody has that ra hanel and the hidden ra. And that comes out in Dibur. And then he goes on to explain at length why it, that that will that's why we need a coin to, to fix the the, the, the Mitzayah. But the again, also realize that Evans Bart is based on that there are two Dinam and there's Hilchis Deus and Hilchis Tumas Ras. As opposed to what we said that there was no Lashon Hari here, but Etzim, there is a Lashon but a Lashon without Midas Reis. So there is a lot of commonality, but Ebbis Vod is definitely more uh, and uh, it's, 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 it, but either way, it's clear that these two halachas are different, and, 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 and I just enjoy the fact that there's a possibility to translate that, that 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 Miriam, there was no lotion her at all. That part of what we said. Anyway, have a side gesund, be well. Hatzlocher Rabbah.